Hey guys, I'm here with my track system paid 4x4 VXL and it only does the following. If I pull the throttle, it just jerks a little bit. Forward, backward, doesn't make any difference. The, uh, the reset of the ESC here, so long press. Once it's red, you let it go, it blinks once, you go full throttle, it blinks twice, you go full reverse, and then you let it go. So now I reset uh, the ESC. No change at all. There's the shaft. It's jerking a little bit back and forth. doing it. Okay, they found one thing here. This this bushing here that looks melted. Um, there's another video that talks about this. Uh, I'll provide the link down below, which is a very good video uh, where you can remove the plastic underneath, which you can replace with an aluminum. So probably going to do this next too. Um, but I guess I found my issue. So uh, look at this. So if I have the end of everything on and I, I pull the lever, can you see the end? The motor is right here. See, it, it runs freely, so that's not a problem. So if, I, if I give the power, nothing happens. Can you see that back and forth wiggle wiggle? So what I'll do now, I have these are the four wires that go to from the ESC on the speed controller to the motor okay so the blue is very tight the yellow is very tight the white is very loose so if I wiggle this around you can see it can wiggle this actually so let me see what this wiggling do, does to to my motor where's this thing now still not doing well turn it doesn't do it give me find the right spot yeah Look at this. So I have a loose connection right here between these two guys. So I can put this thing back together now. Making sure it's inside. You can see it here. And if I turn the spur gear, it's moving. Put this back together. Okay, so I identified that this one is a very loose connector here, the white one for me. Because if I just disconnect another one, put that in, it's as loose as it is. This one, nice and tight. So let's see whether we can fix the connector here. Measure them, by the way. This one's broken now. I 
can see pretty much three millimeters. Let's see if the tip's a little bigger. Yeah, 3.0 millimeters, which is typically four or 2.0, point, or 2 I think, are the normal ones. So I'm not sure what that is now, but very small screwdriver. Oh my gosh, I just, so you can see that. There's a little cage around it and that cage came loose. And that's why the pin is rocking around here. Completely loose. Whether I can have a temporary fix here, I'll try to get another of these banana jigs. Anyways, so there's a round a little bit. Try to tighten it too. Not really working well. There's really only a temporary fix. Nope. Not a good way of doing this. Let's do this. Let's make that very fine. Okay. Like so. Like a wire. Uh, nope. Doesn't work something else. Hold this up somehow. It doesn't go in where it shouldn't go. Soldering tip and let's see. You can put some flux on it. It's probably easier. Mine is gone but it works like this too. You can actually Grind it off if you want to. It's a little too much. Let me see. A little hot, a little sticky. So good. Let's see, so it doesn't fit in quite nicely. So let's file away a little bit. Maybe it's very soft material. Almost. Let's see. Uh, it's a little loose, so. Hmm. Let's eat it up and push it away so we don't have these big blobs here. So I'm not, I mean, this is not the way you typically solder, right? You heat it up and let the solder flow. In this case, I just want to make sure that I'm right. This might take a little bit. It'll be perfect almost. Clean the tip. See, Let's see what it says now. Now oh, let me do this. Heat it up down here. That doesn't work either.
Oh, look at this. Barely fits. Wonderful. Let's give it a try.